morning. Today we're going to do the removal and install of my front wheel on my 2002 Road King. With that, we will get her in the air, remove the front calipers, remove the axle, remove the wheel. With that, let me get this in the air. I'm going to be using a Laren jack. Okay, with that, all the tools and the things needed are in the description box below. Hit show more for the Amazon link that will show you where to get this Laren motorcycle jack. This one has the inch and a half profile. It's a must. All right, the first thing I'm going to do is remove these covers. You'll see an Allen head at the bottom. It's an eighth inch. Make sure it's nice and square so you just don't want to strip these. I'll remove this, the other one from this side, same thing. On this side of the bike, I want to remove the calipers. You need to use a 12 point, I'm using 10 millimeters, then I put the half inch drive. Square. It's easy work with a half inch ratchet. All right, now that I broke these loose, I'll use my gun. Sometimes these could be real tight. Use the right tool. This is what usually gets people jammed up. They'll use the wrong tool on this 12 point and strip it. I'll put that aside. What I like to do is move it, rock it back and forth, and you'll see you're pushing those pistons in and giving yourself a little more room. Slide it up. And now you got more leverage. Comes right out. Get yourself a bungee cord. I'll put it around the stem and let it just hang right there. You can inspect your brakes. You can see we got pad. So they're good. Let them just sit on the side. You don't stress out your brake line. We're gonna do the same thing with this caliper. It's good to get it out of the way. We don't need to scratch nothing. Put any stress on these rotors. I've seen where they come in bent and as you hit the brake, you'll feel a sensation. Usually what that is, is this has a slight bend. So. I really advise you to take your time with this. Get everything squared away nice. With the right ratchet, it's easy. Everything is in the tools. Be conscious, one is longer than the other. You can't put it together but one way. Same thing as the other side. What we want to do is just tilt it back and forth. I'm trying to do it so you guys see. Back and forth. You can see that. What that does is it compresses those pistons and gives you a little more room. We take our bungee cord, same as the other side. Slide through that hole and right to my mirror. Let it lay. Take a look at the brakes, take a look at the brake dust, and that will tell you if something's wrong. If you have a lot of brake dust on one side, there's a good chance it's not lined up the axle, which I will show you later. Now what I want to do is remove this axle and we'll use this three quarter ratchet. Now you have the three quarter nut. Lock washer and a flat washer 
With that, we'll go to the other side. Now, what I like to do, these two half-inch nuts, they haven't been loosened. What I like to do is just take a little awl and put a little index mark. I have done this since this bike is brand new. Now I know every time when I line this up, I'm gonna go to this spot. So now I scribe that like I show you. Now we have a half inch nuts that lock these. I got my ratchet on it. Half turn, full turn. Half turn, full turn. So when I go back to this later, I know, make a full turn on each one, and she should be somewhere close to the spec. With that now, we're going to remove the axle. With that, I'm just going to put the nut to protect the threads. I'm going to take this hammer. that aside. Now as you notice, she's not off the ground much. I'll put that block there and what I'm going to do is get it between my knees, hold it with this side, put the axle down, now watch for the spacers on both sides. I'm gonna go to the jack. Give me a little more room. With that now, I just roll her out. Now we're gonna reinstall. Keep in mind, the tire is directional. Take a good look at that arrow, a dual disc front, so you can make the mistake. With that, let's install this. Now remember, we're gonna put the wheel back on. There's an arrow on the tire that shows directional. This has a dual disc front, so you could make the mistake if you don't look at it closely. And with this Laren jack, you see how you have control over this bike. All right, I'm gonna install the front wheel. You see this is pretty easy to get this under here. Now with the jack, I'm gonna lower this a little bit. Just enough that I ain't killing myself. I'm gonna clean this axle. on the bearing, both sides. I like using this Mobile One Synthetic. And it's not messy. It's not messy stuff, it's beautiful. With that, now we have this. Remember, we have our spacer. Sometimes it'll have a line, the line goes to the outside. notice this has to slide in that's why I got this off now if we had this cap off I don't like it I'd rather go like this that's the hardest part everything else is just putting stuff back I believe taking that cap off it's not a good thing one full turn one full turn don't get no easier than that all right, what I'm going to do, washer, 
the lock washer, the three quarter inch nut, and tighten it. We have to torque this down. All right, with that, we'll go to the other side. Now we have our scribe mark, but I ain't gonna worry about that, but I'm gonna get it to where we see it. And there it is. I'm putting this Phillips head in here. I will tighten this last. What I want to do is torque this down. You got to remember the axle is fixed to the bearings and indexed to the axle, the bearings. We tighten this last. Torque it, adjust it, tighten it. All right, you see what I'm using for leverage on this side. Let's go to the other side with the torque. Set this torque wrench up to 40. Usually they like to see between 50 and 55 pounds for an O2 king. I'm gonna put this here. I'm gonna hold that Phillips head I set up on the other side of the axle. Nice and slow. Reset it. All right, let's go to 55. I like to do it in two steps. Let this all set in. That's 55. Now, you can see our scribe. I pull this out, put this aside. Now we got our 3 8 ratchet. Half a turn, full turn. Make sure your mark is nice and clear. Full time. I'll talk these later. I'll check the book. Everything. Your mark is there where I indexed it. It spins beautiful. I like to do this. So when we put the brakes on, we make sure nothing has went wrong. We know this is beautiful. Because sometimes with these dual caliper setups, they can cause you problems. All right, now we want to install these calipers. We're going to do the right one. Disconnect it from the bungee cord. We took them off, so they should go on pretty easy. You could expand them a little bit with an angle. Now, if you did everything right, this should just slide right in place. If you got to force this, you got to know you're going to end up, well, if you got to force this on there, this isn't right. It's just that simple. If you're forcing this, that means this alignment here is off. That's, I like to index it, and there's no if, and, or but. That's the way it was. That's the way it will be. All right. Hand start these, and we will talk them later. Check. We'll hit the handbrake later. We still got one caliper that's free. So like I said, we could spin this. We know everything is perfect. Now, let's unhook this from the bungee cord. We can spread it a little bit, make it easy on us. Not much, don't go crazy, just a little V to it. On an angle, you can look down, it's that easy. On. If you are forcing, something's wrong. Always start these by hand. Now we spin this side. Okay, we see everything's free. Now let's hit the brakes. One, two, 
three, four, five. You can see now you got a handle. Now you know you will have no problem. With that, I'm gonna put the trim caps back on. We know that, put it at the bottom. Make sure you square in it. Do not. You don't have to go crazy. Just tighten them up. They ain't going nowhere. Everything's nice. Put this on. Like I said, make sure it's nice and square. That's it. Now everything's torqued down. I will write the torque values at the bottom by the description. And by the description, I will have Amazon links to the jack, pads a new front tire i appreciate if you take a look at it they're very reasonable prices and it helps us out if you could subscribe thumbs up and leave a comment if you have an idea or a, a different method of doing something let us know with that have a great day